A key discussion point at this summit is social entrepreneurship. The following regional delegates views we hope will stimulate discussion here at the summit. Ladies and gentlemen, up next we've got Ubebs with social entrepreneurship. Ubebs with breakfast. We give to you Tawang Mabuza! Thank you very much. Well, what, do, what do you understand when we talk about social entrepreneurship? Can I have a volunteer? What I understand about social entrepreneurship, um, firstly, social society entrepreneurship, a leader, um, an entrepreneur um, who um, firstly finds a gap and tries to sustain that gap by creating jobs and starting something new, a business. Now, what I understand about social entrepreneur, it's when this, the entrepreneur gives jobs to the society and starts to, to um, and starts to develop the society. Because when your business, you want your business to succeed, you need to be located in a place where the people have income so that you can make profit. Now, by employing people of that location, the people are now going to buy in your store. Social entrepreneur focuses on the location, on society, because the main target is the people. Thank you. There are those of you who want to start businesses. There are those of you who want to think about starting businesses, but you don't know how to. That is part of why we are here. We want to build a system where young people can work together in changing their community. Me and my, me and, the, and, me and my group, we could open like, like uh, a small after-school program where like kids come over to a house, any house that we have chosen to work at and make traditional bracelets. And these traditional bracelets, they're gonna get paid for making them. The model would be a hybrid because we're hiring people from our community, people, children from our community, children we see every day. Uh, and the impact it, it can have is we're creating opportunities for young people in the area by keeping them out of danger because it's an after-school program. They get to stay at home. They don't go out to do crime and smoke and everything, things that are happening now. You already know that we have a very high unemployment rate in South Africa, right? Some people are uneducated. Uh, but the main thing, we don't have actually the main challenge, but it affects everything that happens around it which is littering and air pollution, which can cause various diseases around us, as we all know that kids can suffer from whatever people are throwing around in the streets. So the plan is to actually pick up whatever they, they, they are, which is us, whatever we're throwing down on the floor, make money with it by trading it for recycling, and we get money for that. Building recycling bins so that um, people at their own homes can learn about recycling, which means a much more healthy environment in the community, which means the kids growing up can also know that at home we're doing recycling, and it's a, no a normal thing that we can do. Our product will be solar panels and generators in our business. And our business is called Siangnet. My prices will be very affordable because, as we know, people from rural areas are li are have a limited income. When it comes to profit, we will make a certain profit based on our target market income. We will be filling a gap on, in the community by improving the use of electronics, smart, such as smartphones, for students to research their homeworks or projects. You see, when people see problems and they strike and they break buildings and so forth, as our generation, we need to see challenges and problems as opportunities for us to make money. We hope these thoughts on social entrepreneurship will inspire delegates to now have a robust debate.